Hi everybody, hope your day is going well. We are back with a reaction. Today we got Norwegian hip-hop duo Carpe, I think. This was a request by Melly. Thank you so much for the coffees. And uh, Omar Sharif is the project, I think. And it broke a streaming record in Norway, I think. And uh, it's a story about roots, you know, and, and uh, upbringing and... Many different things. I found it very interesting, the story you shared, uh, and they called the sound or this genre that they maybe created themselves, like diaspora pop, if I'm correct. Uh, you know, it's uh, for embracing their roots and upbringing and mixes of different influences. And we get in different languages here, as far uh, as I could tell from the story you shared. Uh, very interested to... Uh, see this and hear this. Uh, I see we have subtitles, which is uh, probably a good thing. Uh, so, Barav Fairuz live from Oslo Spectrum Arena in uh, August 22. Wanted to go to Oslo for a while. Man, so many cities are on my bucket list. Uh, you know, hopefully we'll get there one day. So, Nadi, for elder of Ora, somebody who jobba or hold mm. chef. Utan att någon har inviterat dem till dagsnytt 18 för att snacka om yttringsrummet eller något annat. För dem som pröver att förbereda sig på att dö i ett främmande land har den klissete kaka eller koppen med allt för söt te varit den billigaste och raskaste biljetten hem. Sorgen när en förälder är i färd med att försvinna är så följligen förbehållt oss migrantbarn. Men den får ett extra lag hos oss. Kanske för att vi mister vår viktigaste kobling till en del av världen som de tog med hit. Vi Wow, 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 wow. Okay, man, I'm going to really have to pause it here. Okay. You know, I'm the son of an immigrant too, you know. But my my mother is Belgian, my father is from Pakistan. Wow, okay, this ain't different for me, man. Hell oh, yeah, man. Ooh, I, you know, I've uh, he's given me a new perspective, new insight. Yeah, we do lose a link. Of course, some uh, other people, immigrants, they have other family uh, that also uh, came to another country. So maybe you can have a link there, but yeah. And it's also sometimes you can lose the last links in the country that they originated from, for example, grandparents uh, that stayed behind, you can lose them. And that's also a link like, do I have a reason to go back now? Yes or no? It's a different thing. If you are born here, you know, first generation like I am. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's weird. It's weird. Um, and also sometimes you feel you don't belong neither here or there. Uh, yeah, it's something that I had to come to terms with over the years. Ooh, okay, come on. No, we're only four. <laughs> yeah, man, come on. Come on, man. It's, uh, yeah, it's cool to, to, that they do that. So maybe people that don't understand this can also get that perspective. Uh, you know, uh, very, you know, that's that's very important. Hela världen som de tog med hit. Vi, barna deres. Er troende og troløse. Skamfulle og skamløse. Rotfesta og rotløse. Mm. Vi var barn da vi fylte ut skjemaer for foreldre våre. Ringte kundeservice på deres vegne. Og skrev kondolansekort mm. som skulle til deres norske venner. Yeah, I didn't have that because, you know, my, my father is fluent in uh, in Dutch and, you know, he could do that. You know, sometimes now, now I have to help him more <laughs> as he get old with his retirement papers and stuff. Yeah, okay. Yeah, maybe I did. Maybe I did have to do some of those more uh, bureaucratic things. Uh, but that's just because he's he's a laborer, man. He, he do, you know, paperwork, <laughs> it's not his thing. <laughs> But yeah, you know, I have many friends, of course, that also came from immigrant parents who have to do that, you know. Uh, and it's tough in school as well because it's hard to help with schoolwork. Oh, man, what? Okay, this has nothing to do yet with music, but come on, it's part of the story. So stick with it, people, please. It's, this is important. Come on. I wrote a letter to 
som skulle till deras norska vänner. Vi var barn där resten av Norge lå sketcher där det eneste poängen var att folk snackade som föräldrar var gjorde. En dag efterlater de oss här mellan städerna de förlot och städer de prövade att bli en del av. När det blir vår tur vill vi se tillbaka för att försikre oss och dem om att vi klarte att komma ett skritt närmare. on this man i'm trying to pay attention to the rhymes and the cadence as well even though i don't understand the language i can read it of course maybe for you with the small screen it could be too small to read you know but feet in the butt off i don't really know what that is but then now we drink wine out of a carafe you know in english it doesn't really rhyme but yeah you know it's the juxtaposition from you know where we come from where we are now and maybe the next generation will even be more uh you know separate it from our roots uh you know that's something that i think about because you know i still had that close connection uh when i was young to that you know world it's almost like a different world as i got older you know i lived my life here i gotten further and further away from that uh and now my own daughter she almost doesn't have anything connecting her to that except for maybe her skin color and her name. Uh, but I was brought up in very different culture, you know, culturally very different. And I'm not really passing it down, you know, maybe that's on me, but, you know, that's just how life goes. That's how it goes. You know, some people come, you know, choose to come here and, and, and you know, I, that's the life I'm living. I'm living the life that's, that's here i'm rooted here yeah and it get further and further removed but you know hasn't that always been the case throughout you know the years that humanities live we all come from you know the same place thousands and thousands hundreds of thousands of years ago okay wow okay this is uh you know for, yeah for me is it it hitting it's hitting different cuz i have a not a similar but you know i have uh yeah I don't know, man. It's tough. Tarantel, tarantel, tar tarantel, brune fötter i baraf. Mer champagne, mer chapli, mer gabelu, babelu, banti, brune fötter i baraf. No vi drikker vin ut og karafell, drakk sharabi, jeg ranger, i 02 på tår, jeg angrer, ta brune fötter i baraf. Brune fötter i baraf. Toppen av världen Kan du se till min kära Vad jag har bärt för ros På toppen av världen Kan du se till min kära Vad jag har lärt Vi har lärt oss Vi har lärt oss Kör ut dunia som en måste Vi har lärt oss Vi har lärt oss 
Det är bara till en black bear Vänta på mig, vänta på mig Ingen bara sång eller karriär Läns kan trycka min kärn Jag tar det som klär Och de pratar bak ryta bara utan på mig Inshallah, se mig lage änglar i snöjda Bara f*** Jag blomstar upp dig så blir det rätt från backen Nej, råsen och vi med Amin Men push din baba Hafi Håll hans och vakt till mig i And our moms are white, so maybe they have the same thing. I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure. Uh, my mom is white too. My, you know, my father's Pakistani, as I said. Uh, it's hard. It's difficult, man. Sometimes because you get two cultures, you get the best and the worst of both worlds. It's definitely a learning school. Uh, it's been that for me. And sometimes, you know, you had enough of it, man. I got to be honest. I got to be honest. That's why I went my own way through life with detours, with detours. I went through some dark stuff. Uh, but now I think I finally found, you know, who I am. And uh, I'm not really attached to labels, identities, uh, and so much. You know, we all want to belong. But, um, you know, I think I put too much value in that at a certain time in my life uh to labels and belonging uh who i was i think i you know i was looking for it in the wrong places and uh now i'm just me i'm just me i don't need to uh, be labeled uh, one way or another i'm just me that's it um but I understand, you know, f you know, especially when you when, when you're first generation, you, you, you're like a like a a middleman, a spokesperson, and you hear things, you th see things, and sometimes it's paranoia, maybe too, because uh, you see people looking at you, even though you know when you don't open your mouth, they don't know you even speak the language, so you don't look any different to certain people with uh, that already have their judgment made up. Uh, in certain places in the world, you know, they look at you and judgment is formed. And then you talk and then they, you know, they're like, oh, okay. You speak our language? <laughs> really? You know, that's how, you know, that's how it always is. And then they give you some backhanded compliment. Wow, you know, for, uh, for a brown guy, you speak really good Dutch. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> you know, I write books in Dutch. What do you do? You know, that's the, that's the response sometimes you wanted to give, but of course you don't because you try to be civilized. But now I'm giving it to you, my inside thoughts. Okay, wow, beautiful. It's getting me a little, I didn't know it was going to take me there, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah, man. Yeah, I lived that street life too for a while. I don't know that they did, but, you know, I, uh, they mentioned, uh, you know, the many of, uh, I don't know. Let's just keep going. <laughs> I'm going to get myself in trouble.
tror du om å spise møde? Hvorfor må du ta på frem til selv? Hvorfor går du ut og plukker seg selv? Hvorfor tror du at alt dette skjer? Hvorfor sa du du føler deg bedre? Hvorfor går du ikke og sier deg fond? Hvorfor går du og jugger til legen? Hvorfor går du om man var så dum? Hvorfor går du og får det å bedre? Oh man, those are all things that, you know, oh man, those are questions that we ask as kids or, you know, even as growing ups. And those are things that, you know, I could see definite connections to my family, not only ones living here, still in Pakistan, some in England, going through all those same things, you know. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Hvorfor går du og får diabetes? Hvorfor går du og får nye svik? Hvorfor går du ikke på treningssend? Hvorfor tror du du må ha insulin? Hvorfor går du og får høyt blodtrykk? Hvorfor går du ikke i melkpuls? Hvorfor går du ikke i trysko? Hvorfor går du og får enda svurs? Hvorfor går du og får hjert og flimmel? Hvorfor går du og får bare meg skreft? Hvorfor går du ikke ut om vinteren? Hvorfor går du ikke bare for tre? Hvorfor går du? Hvorfor går du? Dude, dude. <laughs> I'm glad it's over. If it had one more minute, I would have been bawling like a baby here. Um, You know, if you stayed with me through this reaction so long, thank you. Melly, thank you again for the support and introducing me to it. It showed me... And you pr could probably hear that there's, uh, you know, there's beautiful music. It's beautiful music. So, uh, you know, I can talk about that. I can, you know, but let's, uh, you know, this relates more to my personal experience as a child, as a, a man now, as a father, you know, and they told me the song that I probably still hold on to some of those uh, grudges and resentment and bitterness uh, towards the world, I guess, towards, I don't know, man. Yeah, it tells me that I still have a lot of work to do, as many of us do. Uh, it's, you know, and also some of the beautiful things, you know, that I grew up like this kind of music, you know, you can hear the influences modern influences and influences from their roots is fused together as one which shows that it's possible to live together in harmony uh but it's uh it's easier said than done of course uh we you know people like to keep separate and stay in their own bubble have their own groups uh but then resent each other f for doing that but we all know we are more comfortable in our groups. But then we say, no, you know, we have to come together or, you know, you stay there in your comfort zone or in your bubble of language or culture. Uh, and then they resent each other for doing that. But also at the same time, say we have to keep our culture alive. You can't uh, mix it together too much or else we don't have our own identity or culture anymore. So it's a very complex issue and it showed me that maybe I did not do my best enough to keep that alive. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's something I'm still struggling with. Because uh, for the very fact that they said, you know, yeah, what are we, you know? That's why I'm trying to carve my own way out. What is it? I don't know what it is. It's me. I can't tell you what it is. Uh yeah, it showed me a lot. That's uh, oof. 
I got a little bit of an existential crisis going on here after this song. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It definitely hit, uh, it struck a chord with me. And uh, yeah, that's cool. They, they do that. I can see that it resonated with the people in the audience as well. Uh, they knew every word and they, you know, I could see them having that same feeling because they've been through similar experiences. That's a good one, man. That's a good one. Thank you for requesting this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, you got me. You got me with this one. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Uh, I guess there's plenty more work to do for me. Uh, peace.